Melissa Miranda here from Miracles Within Us. And today I want to talk about healing and unplugging from massive consciousness. And I'll explain what I mean about what that. is massive consciousness and how to unplug from it if you want to. And the benefits of unplugging and the benefits of being plugged in because there are benefits on either end and it's really up to where you are in your life and the journey in which you want to live your own life so before we begin I just want us all to just take in a deep breath in and let it go I have some incense burning here on this beautiful chakra little holder here beautiful gift I got from a special person and I have that burning with the intention of really cleansing healing and really just to be able to communicate effectively with you today so <clears throat> let's talk about healing and what does that mean and there's different levels of healing and there's different things that people mean by healing and healing is on many different levels. It's physical, it's metaphysical, it's spiritual, it's emotional. And we all hit a point in our life where there is some level of needing to heal. And it's a part of our journey here on the physical plane. So don't feel negative around having to have to heal. Healing is natural and normal and it's a part of our growth here on earth. So what is really healing? Healing is around releasing and moving forward from hola Will, hola hola. It's about releasing hola Rich, hola hola, welcome, welcome, thank you for being here. <laughs> right? It's about releasing, it's about learning, it's about growth, it's about transformation. Healing is really about this transformation that occurs within us right it's like we see something that is unwanted and we want to heal from that whether that's an emotional wound whether that's a physical wound whether you know whatever type of healing that is that is needed there is some sense of uh, a process of grieving and acceptance and letting go and moving forward and one of the things I've learned with even just the concept of healing is that there's so many um, when it comes to like consciousness and the massive consciousness and what I mean by massive consciousness I mean the agreed upon contracts that we have a, as as a society as a culture and as a world right there's certain things we have all played into and agreed upon to being here physically on this plane at this time on this vibrational frequency right and on this earth at this very moment in time right so there's the consciousness that that is that makes us exist right that consciousness that is existing now the massive consciousness is referring to the ideologies, the beliefs, the systems that is agreed upon by many. So we would see this in religion, right? Like there's a massive consciousness in the religious family that is an agreement with things and their belief systems coincide and connect, right? Um, and that is great for tribal and that's great for community, but it isn't necessarily great for the individual self at times because if you as an individual or I as an individual want to break out of a certain pattern that we no longer like around the massive consciousness it becomes very difficult when we're plugged into the belief system like for instance um, let's just talk about things that has happened historically right uh, let's talk about women hello <laughs> right and before women used to get gain status through the partner in which they marry their husband is where they got their leverage from right and um, or didn't get leverage from depending on who it is you married and their status and that had to do with this consciousness of agreement that certain things make that person or make things great for instance 
uh, having a house, having a car, having getting married by a certain age, having a degree by a certain age. All of these things are massive consciousness beliefs. But they don't always serve the self and the growth and the, evol on the evolution of the self and the evolution of our own individual healing. So it's important to understand when are you plugged into massive consciousness and when is it when is it useful for yourself to unplug. And what I've learned through my own experiences and working with other individuals like you guys is that when you are in healing, when you are in need of transformation and healing, there is an unplugging that is necessary in order to move forward and and that can look like a lot of things some people disconnect from their family for a little bit some people you know go on retreats and do these type of disconnections because when we allow external factors and culture and society to tell us how to live and be um, at times it takes away our own individual self which then doesn't allow us to have that deep connection with source because our connection with source is an individual experience and when we are connected in a massive consciousness sometimes that can limit our ability to be more powerful within ourselves and transform in our journey so Let's talk a little bit more around unplugging and what that really looks like. And unplugging is really learning. It's really awareness first, like awareness of these are some patterns, these are some beliefs, these are some things that I don't need to follow anymore or they no longer serve me, right? And then it's allowing yourself to unplug without taking yourself away from the love and the connection with those tribes in that community and sometimes it's it's really about finding the right people as well and unplugging from unhealthy situations and unhealthy thought patterns right so unplugging from massive massive you know consciousness is going to be important when it comes to really allowing inner and outer healing to really occur people who have had miracle work done on themselves and what I mean is that you know there, there's so many stories of people who you know diagnosed with cancer and then they 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 were like you know something I'm going to really pay attention to myself and I'm gonna love myself and I'm gonna figure out all these things and I'm gonna try everything possible and they start to do things that are unconventional they start unplugging from the conscious way of doing things and they start doing things unconventionally and then the next thing you know it this person is now healed or has um, progression and their life their quality of life becomes more powerful becomes more exciting and it becomes liberating and free so this is what happens when we unplug from uh, from this massive consciousness and some it's very scary process because we don't know what we're getting ourselves into because the safety of being in in a massive consciousness or a connective consciousness of everyone is that we kind of know everything is kind of predictable but as soon as you unplug you are stepping into an unpredictable realm you ex you're you're stepping into an unfamiliar place an uncomfortable place for a lot of us and it is encouraged by our inner self to break out of that fear and to step into who we truly are and allow that to unfold right allow that to open us up and to be fully unplugged but present right you can be unplugged and present in the lives of those you love and with yourself and then you have healthy boundaries and there's just so much more that comes with this but the mo the thing I want to share today and that I'm feeling like the angels are really like it's important for us to recognize when we are plugged in to belief systems and when we are not and when some are beneficial and when some aren't right there is this allowing 
that happens or unfolding that happens when we unplug when we allow ourselves to break free from the conditions of things for example for example if someone is going through heartbreak right let's say you in a relationship and things no longer are working but there is sadness and uh, you're not ready fully to release right you think um, and normally you would suffer for two years a year let's say six months let's just say six months you 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 allow yourself to grieve for that long and every time you go through heartbreak and that you always do the six months and that's a plug-in right it's like oh it takes me six months to heal and at times that is accurate right that's self-awareness but at times it's that we put and make ourselves grieve for that long like we have to grieve for that long and at times it's not necessary right and at times it's just more effective it's to just be like this is what happened I have my emotions and I will experience them for instance in a heartbreak but at the same time I no longer have to plug into the belief system that I need to show that I'm suffering because of the end of this relationship and that the suffering of the end of this relationship means that that relationship was really meaningful to me. Now, having a, a reaction and, and having to mourn and grieve doesn't really mean that you, that in this case, right, in, in what we're talking about, that the longer you grieve, the more love you had. And the less you grieve, the less love you have. That is not accurate. That is not even true. But when it comes to healing and it comes to unplugging, you get to choose how long you want to resonate in certain things. And sometimes you do want to mourn a little bit longer because it was so important for you to do so. And then other times it's not. It's not necessary. Same thing with grieving a loss of a loved one or an animal that we treasure, right? There's there's all of this feeling that sometimes we feel we must we must show our grief we must get angry we must feel this way right and 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 we feel and you see this throughout the world right where it's like why aren't you angry around this or why aren't you standing up for this and it's like it doesn't mean that i don't agree or disagree or i'm okay with it it's just I choose to use my energy in a way that is going to bring light and in the light that means the healing and my focus is healing and when you focus on the healing and you focus on happiness it changes how how you stand in the world and it changes how you relate and it changes how you connect in the plugging in on the consciousness of the massive consciousness that is here right and we all are here we're all a part of this massive consciousness no one is exempted from this unless you've removed yourself from it and if you've done the inner work to unplug and there's moments where you could be unplugged around maybe a certain topic but then plugged in in another topic and it's just about awareness and understanding so <clears throat> when it comes to healing and understanding healing it's it's like moving into a realm that you know that you don't have right when someone is ill and they need to heal there's this level of having to step into what would be the proper word here it's it's a level of you have to be able to step into a different vibrational frequency and in order to step into a different vibrational frequency that is the healing what is needed is for you to unplug to the uh, unplug from the consciousness of the sickness right so and and this is easier said than done and i'm not saying this lightly and i am not saying this to criticize anyone's healing journey i am saying this to give you information so you can start utilizing it and applying it into your life I want you to start taking things in your life and your world as a positive how can I start bringing in these things instead of making that be a separate thing from me perception is really important when it comes to healing right it's I may be ill at this moment in time or I may be emotional at this moment in time but that isn't 
that doesn't have to be my life forever and it doesn't have to be my life for the next hour and it doesn't have to be my life for the next week or day it could just be for moments in time and this is where we get to take our power back right and as we call in our own power we allow ourselves to unplug we allow ourselves to unplug from all of these belief systems that actually keep us small keep us ill keep us unhappy and keep us in this unattainable standard of happiness and this belief that if i have the house the car you know the children and i will be completely happy and as we know that is not true the most happiest people are the ones that actually take risk in life who actually break boundaries and really unplug from the massive consciousness right and and doing it from a place of enlightenment not in a place of of remorse or a place of wanting to prove a point because that will add a different vibrational frequency if you oh, I'm gonna prove a point I could prove that I can do this that energy is very different vibrationally from an energy that is I deserve to be happy so I'm gonna do whatever it takes to be that that's a different vibrational energy it's a different frequency it's a different way and it gives you a completely different outcome because when you go I'm I just want to live my life happily and I'm gonna allow myself to figure out what those things are that is beautiful it doesn't take away from others it just enlightens you but when you're having to prove something you're constantly looking backwards for a reaction approval acceptance from the people you're trying to prove a point to so this is why it's so helpful to unplug because then we no longer have to live by you know someone else watching me my reaction it's my reaction because of my reaction my reaction because of my level of vibration and where it choose to be so really the point of today's discussion and I, I want to continue having this discussion and those of you who are watching the replay please write comments and 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 really just let me know how this is resonating with you because this is a really big topic and I'm talking about it very surface um, and there's very much more depth into you know understanding what massive consciousness is and understanding what healing is and understanding the inner self and the and the self that we are in the world um, and also just understanding what healing and and unplugging and and all of these things right there, there there's way more to this discussion than what is being presented in this moment um, but I wanted to start the conversation with you because as we're moving into the year 2020 the energy is shifting and as you guys already are feeling you know we have this new harvest full moon coming on Friday the 13th <laughs> right very magical moment um, and what this is bringing forth for all of us is massive healing and if you can unplug <laughs> If you can unplug, you can really tap into this healing energy in a way that benefits you and that you can move in a progression that is helpful, useful, and healthy for you and for those in your life, right? So I want to thank you for being here with me and sharing this with me. And if there's anything you want to talk about around unplugging and massive consciousness and healing, please let me know. I would love to go more into depth into these this topic, um, but for right now, the main thing I want to share with you and that I want to leave you with is, is your plug-in conscious, massive consciousness serving you right now, right? And if it is not, you have the opportunity, the ability, the resources to unplug whenever it is you feel like it. And I am here to support you with that journey. So leave your comments below. I would love to hear from you. I really, really do love hearing from you guys. Like, I really do. So please share, like, and subscribe, and just share the love and 
really understand and make it an awareness of of healing and and unplugging and the benefits of it right because the benefits of unplugging is that you get to really receive what you need from you through you and through source and when you're plugged into a massive consciousness you have to do things in a certain way because that's the way that the collective belief is right so if it's like if the belief is that in order to heal from a cold you have to you know be sick for two weeks and you have to take this type of medicine um, then if that's the only way in which you're going to be able to heal but if you unplug from that and you say well I could heal instantly I can heal it by just drinking tea um, or I can heal by boosting up my immune system in different ways you start unplugging from a from a belief system that said this is the only way you could heal to opening up to more infinite possibilities of different forms of healing transformation and forward movement so thank you again so very much for being here i love you unconditionally and until the next time namaste